yesterday. Well, support is building for a man arrested on New Year's Day. He claims Austin police abused their power. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle is live at the Travis County Courthouse with the story. Aaron? Good afternoon, Sally. This is where protesters thought they would be most effective this morning, standing outside the jail where Antonio Bueller was booked in on January 1st. Now, about a dozen people held signs calling Austin police officers liars and drunk These with power. One sign even read, Bueller is my hero. Now, Antonio Bueller was here as well, and he says he was the designated driver on New Year's and pulled over to get some gas. And when he started taking pictures of Austin police arrest, a woman who was the passenger in a car pulled over on a drunk driving stop. An officer approached him. Now, officers had the passenger down on the ground, and Bueller didn't like what he saw, so he snapped these photos and asked police what they were doing. Bueller says an officer got in his face and asked why he was taking pictures. The officer says just the opposite that Bueller started it by getting in his face. Now, we do want to mention it is not illegal for citizens to take pictures of police doing their jobs if you're not in their way. Now, investigators are still studying dash camera video from the arrest to determine who was in the wrong. They assaulted peaceful citizens. They falsely imprisoned them. They misused their power, uh, and it's just wrong. And, and these guys need to be off the street. Now, Bueller is a local middle school teacher, a West Point grad, and an Iraq war veteran. He filed a complaint with the police monitor's office last week. They have interviewed him. We will continue following this case closely to see how it all plays out. Live in downtown Austin this afternoon, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News.